Welcome to this short presentation on the continued development and validation of the Lila app, which is a brief smartphone based assessment of learning and memory. Lila is based on an existing wordless learning task, the International Shopping List Test, which was originally designed to address challenges inherent in typical wordless learning and memory tests. It retains an immediate and delayed recall paradigm common to many similar tests, whilst using a real world shopping list context that may be easily adapted for different languages and cultures. Importantly, the shopping list paradigm is a real world activity relevant to older people and people with Alzheimer's disease. The intent of the Lila app is to take the ISLT paradigm and develop a self-administered smartphone based test that further extends its utility. The hope is that this increases the reach of such standardized assessment to raise awareness of Alzheimer's disease and brain health and to improve diagnosis and clinical care. Lila uses the virtual assistant and natural language processing technology to provide an experience similar to that of face-to-face -face administration, with test items read out to the participant and spoken responses recorded. The current status is that a full release of the app has now been completed and a series of psychometric validation studies have been initiated. This poster describes the outcome of an acceptability and natural language processing accuracy validation analysis conducted in collaboration with the Turner Institute at Monash University in Melbourne. The results showed good acceptability of the assessment, but the need for improvements to the processing of audio to increase accuracy. And we have incorporated processing improvements that have boosted accuracy to a greater than 97% accuracy level, with the potential for further improvements. These data are encouraging with respect to the usability and technical validity of the approach. We will continue our data collection for the purposes of psychometric validation and clinical validation. Thank you for listening and we look forward to sharing further results soon.